Would you like to know how you can make the next year the best year of your life? If so, this is what we're going to be talking about today. And I'm super excited because honestly, I could say that this past year has been the very best year of my entire life. And it seems that each year is getting better than the last. But it wasn't always like that. It used to be where things seemed very unclear, very confusing, very um, uncertain. And it was really discouraging. To It seemed like there wasn't as much progress or it seemed like I had a lot of more questions and answers. And in times like that, it was um, I was looking for direction and I was trying to understand what do I do with my life? Who am I going to be? What should I be spending my time doing? And how do I know that the things that I'm doing is really the things I should be doing? And, and is it really a fulfilling me this year? And for much of my life, I, was, I had a lot of these questions. But it was actually until uh, recently, maybe about three years ago, that I started to live my calling and with so much more clarity and fulfillment and alignment it was it's been an incredible journey and i'm not going to say that like i have arrived in every way but i want to share with you today some principles that i've been learning that has been extremely life transforming and powerful for me and I, and many of the students that i've been working with so i believe that uh, this could help you as well. First of all, my name is Enoch Leffingwell, and I am passionate about helping young people to identify their unique talents and dedicate them to the Lord's service. This is what we do at the Army of Youth. If you like that, then follow our page, like, like our channel, uh, subscribe so that you can get more messages like this. Now, in looking at how to make this next year the best year of your life, one of the things that I have found that has made the biggest difference is about a year ago, 12 months to this day, was the first time I went through this exercise. And it's basically from Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 9 through 10. God talks about how he declares the end of the thing from the beginning. And it's very interesting because when is the best time to build a house? Let's say you wanted to build a house. When's the best time to start? I would say as soon as you finish it. And you might be like, well, what do you mean by that? How do you start a house when, when you finish it? Well, it's by having a plan. See, Luke chapter 14, verse 26 to 29, Jesus says, No man who intending to build a tower sits not down first and count the cost to see whether he has sufficient to finish it. And this principle of sitting down first and counting the cost you, if I were just in, uh, sitting here in this vacant lot and I'm just laying some bricks over there and you walked up to me and say, what are you doing? And I say, I'm building. And you're like, building what? And I say, I don't know. You probably look at me like a crazy man, and, right? And that's how many of us are living our life. We're just reacting. We're just drifting throughout life. But I believe that God would have us to design our years. See, God declares the end from the beginning. And we design things all the time. The, the phone and the camera had a design by a designer. Uh, artists, they design their sketches, their masterpieces before they paint them. The uh, manufacturers, look at anything physical in this world was first designed. Beef, whether it was handcrafted, designed in the mind, or every building. Look at the building that you're in right now. That used to be a vacant lot. But there was a designer who saw a vision of what that lot could be. And lo and behold, you found yourself a home. So whatever it is, we design things all the time. God is a designer. We are created in the image of God. Why don't we design our years? Why don't we design the life that God intended us to live? I really believe that in my studies of the Word of God, time is a gift. Time is a precious gift from God. It is a talent that all of us have. And you have the choice of how you're going to spend your time every day. And it is poor stewardship to not design or to use intentionally the God-given time that was purchased by the infinite blood of Calvary. So we want to ask ourselves, what are we going to do with this next year that God is giving to us? We, we have about... 30 days left till a new year. 
What is we going to do? What did this past year hold for us? And um, in order to understand that, I realized that there are three three habits or three uh, process of sitting down, counting the costs that has made the biggest difference. See, a year ago, I went through this process and basically I looked down and I saw, well, if I'm going to begin building the tower, what is the tower that I w want to build? And I ask you, imagine yourself a year from now. What, and you just live the best year of your life. What does that year look like? What made it the best year of your life? Did you gain victories over your health? Your, your, what did that, your life look like physically? What advancements did you make in a year? Or what does it look like socially with your evangelistic efforts or with the people you met or the people that are around you? What does, what does that look like? Or what about your family? What things, it was the best year you've ever had in your life. The relationship with your family, the experiences you had with your family, the connection, the deeper understanding and, and growth that you've had as a family, the involvement you've had. What does that look like for you? What does that look like? And, and you could just go through at the end of the year, I want you to write this down and take some time to examine what would the best year of your life look like? And can you really have the best year of your life? Does God promise or desire that for us? Well, the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 18, the Bible says, The path of the just is as a shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. So yes, I believe it is God's will for you that each day can be better than the last. That each year, if you're on the path of the just, you can be gaining new victories and new new heights that you've never seen prior to. And the Lord is not done with you. We have in this beautiful uh, gift of God, a path before us of infinite development in Christ Jesus. That means there is no limit to what you could accomplish by God's grace and through his power and according to his will. So when you really examine life, um, this is what's, what's going to be a major differentiator. You have to identify, what do you want in this next year? Psalms 34 verse 8, the Bible says, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he will give thee the desires of your heart. God wants to give you the sanctified desires of your heart. And look at what is the desires? What are the things that would make this next year the best year of your life? And write it down. I was just on the on the phone call with someone, uh, one of our students, and she had mentioned how at the beginning, she went through this exercise a year ago. She made a list of long-term goals, long-term prayers, a vision that she has. She saw where she was and where she wanted to be, and she made this uh, she set some goals or she made a prayer list of her desires and wrote them down. And she's like, Lord, this is what I want. And she was praying for him over the years. And she's seeing how she now has an opportunity that fits every single specification on her list, except for one. But you see, it's incredible where like her eye was open. She's like, I went through this exercise 12 months ago. My goals didn't change, but God went through. And as she's examining the past year, that God provided everything. But if we, we don't go through this exercise of sitting down first and counting the cost, then how are we going to really know what this building is going to look like? You might fall under the same um, d uh, challenge of putting the bricks down, not even knowing what you're building. The question is, what are you building? Every decision you make is a brick. And there is what we're focusing on for this year. So I went through this experience and I would suggest find three to five higher level strategic things that you want to do, like higher level, like annual aims is what we call them, uh, that you would like, like my aim for this year that I want to do. And um, like last year, this is what I did is one of them is I wanted to produce a um, start a the direction from God program and this is a monthly training where I go live every month teaching biblical principles how you can find more direction in your life and know how to study from the Word of God to know God's will without a shadow of the doubt and to uh, to work towards the calling that God has for you now that was one thing that I want to do in the first quarter we did it in December and it worked out and it was a blessing we were 
fine tuning that. And 12 months later, 13 months later, things have been going pretty good. Um, and we, we got that well. And I'm like, praise God. That's been our focus. And that was des by design a year ago. And then another thing we wanted to do is to publish a book. And we were finally able, as the Army of Youth, to publish a book that we were super happy about and getting in the hands of others. And um, in this, this book, that was something that I wanted to do. We created it for ourselves because uh, we saw that in the marketplace, there wasn't a lot available for Christians, Bible-believing Christians that want to follow the Word of God. There's a lot of weird stuff and some of like planners or um, some journals or some things that people do. But um, we decided, we, because we didn't see it out there, we decided to create the biblical uh, account book, the biblical planner that would allow us to map out and to take uh, examination of where we're going and what we're doing and and to create a system, a process whereby daily we could examine and check where are we in fulfilling the calling that God has placed on our lives individually. And so that is where the Army of Youth Live Your Calling daily account book came to be. And we were able to print this. And we've been able to use it every single day for over a year now um, with, our, with our team. And it has been life transforming for many of us. Because in here, we're able to check in, like, are we actually going in the direction to live our calling? The calling that God has placed upon us. Are we doing work that is fulfilling? Are we doing work that is in harmony with the Word of God? That our conscience actually um, can, can approve of? And it helps us to be intentional with our prayers, intentional with our relationships, intentional with our work and our time. And so that we can be a good steward of the precious life that God has given us. Friends, tomorrow is never promised. And it's so essential that today we choose to live the best day that we can. And, in, and if you're interested in getting your copy of the Live Your Calling Daily Account Book, I encourage you to go to thearmyofyouth.com forward slash account book and pick up your copy today. We can ship it to you from anywhere in the world. Just go to thearmyofyouth.com forward slash account book. And I would love to see you start living that this next year can be the best year of your entire life. And it, and it starts with sitting down and counting the cost, taking the time to evaluate your life and see where you're going and to design the life with God that is biblically based according to His will. And I'm so excited for you to get your copy and to go through this process. And if you like this video, if you found this to be helpful, I encourage you to hit like and to share this with, with someone who uh, could also benefit from this. And again, subscribe to our channel if you are interested in knowing what your unique talents are and dedicating them to Lord's service. We provide all sorts of videos on uh, leadership development, personal growth from the scriptures, as well as how to study the Bible and evangelism training. If any of these topics are of interest to you, then go ahead and uh, subscribe or follow our page so that we, so you can get more information like this. We're so happy to hear you, to see you, and, and that you spent the time together. And I just want to say that, remember, God doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the calls.